Hey and welcome to Never Run Through the Hour again. So in this video, I'd like to go over how best to prepare for all these new enchantment changes, where we can go and upgrade these enchantments all the way to that mythic rank. You will even have the ability to exchange them in and get these account-wide ones. Of course, then they will be bound, which is then entirely your choice as whether you're going to do that or not. Now, to upgrade these enchantments, you're going to need a bunch of free agents. Now you can simply purchase them on rank ones here. You can see for just 100,000 astral diamonds. And from there, you can upgrade. However, you can use the exchange where you exchange in three of those rank 15 enchantments for a rank two already, which will be a blue one. As you can see, it goes from just having as green 300 item level to doubling that to 600 item level. Whether the cost of three rank 15s is equal to just a blue? In my opinion, it's not if you can just buy greens at 100,000 astral diamonds. Of course, of course, though, you will see you will need a bunch of reagents to get them upgraded. Now, there are definitely a different varying options which you can do so from buying these primitive moats down here for just your 50,000 astro diamonds and those primitive moats will allow you to also go and upgrade these you can see you need a moat section here and the primitive ones will give you a one percent chance now there will be other moats introduced that will give you like a two percent chance a five percent chance a ten percent chance and maybe even a 25 percent chance and then you can use your preservation wards here to protect your reagents now you will need glyphs of potency and the primary spot that you will obtain glyphs is we can see in the adventuring cab here for again fifty thousand astral diamonds so we'll need a bunch there just three to get it to that rank two as you can see and we can click our upgrade we can try once and you'll see a random reagent gets destroyed unless we use a preservation ward or we use a coalescent moat so the number one thing that i recommend going and making sure you prepare for this mod is invoking you can see here whenever you invoke you will have a timer before you can invoke again now the first time you invoke every day you will obtain a celestial coin now the sixth time you invoke which will be the last time you'll also gain a celestial coin now what you do with these celestial coins well you click up here just beside the invocation button you go to the celestial synergy in the vault of piety now here you will purchase celestial coffers of artifacts you can also purchase celestial enchantments in my opinion they're not as good since the celestial coffers can give you those enchanting stones as well now you'll purchase a whole bunch of these celestial coffers and you can see them all here and what these celestial coffers will allow you to obtain is actually coalescent moats as you can see from the tooltip We'll also drop preservation wards and, and yes, peridots. A lot of peridots. Now, this greatly favors having multiple characters because for every character you can invoke, you can see every day you can obtain two celestial coins. Now, you will just need 11 of those celestial coins to get a coffer of celestial artifacts. So after six days of invoking on a character that's fully invoking, that means you're invoking six times per day on all of your characters. If you have 50 characters, that means every six days you have 50 of these celestial coffers of artifacts. So after 55 days, you'll have a stack of 500 of these celestial artifacts. Again, you're going to have to have character slots. For every character you do this, the more of these celestial coffers of artifacts you can obtain per day, meaning you can obtain a whole bunch more of these coalescent moats. So let's get a whole bunch of these celestial coffers of artifacts opened up and let's see somewhat of the drop rate that we actually get from these celestial coffers of artifacts. We can see we already obtained a coalescent moat there to contain two of them. There we have even have three of them now and we can keep opening these and we can see what drop rates we get after we've opened, let's say, 500 of them. Sometimes you'll be more lucky than other times. Right now is definitely a good time to be opening them. As you can see, we'll get double the amount of enchanting stones. You can see that on the right there. You can also see we dropped another coalescent moat. Now we dropped another one. Just about opening half of them now. And we've already obtained 11 coalescent moats. There we get two more nearly back to back. Now just to be clear, coalescent moats are literally a reskin 
and a change of the name of Coalescent Wards. So if you go and open these on the live server right now, you will obtain Coalescent Wards, which are just exactly the same as Coalescent Motes in Module 22. You can, of course, purchase them from the Zen Market and also the Auction House from other players. But again, there you're going to be spending Astro Diamonds and also Zen to obtain them. Here, I'm just going to show you guys ways which you can work towards this new module without having to spend any of your Astro Diamonds or any of your Zen, which you may have got. And so there we go. We've opened all of them and we got 23 coalescent wards. That's nearly enough coalescent wards for upgrading an entire set of enchantments. We do miss about nine of them there. But again, that is 55 days of invoking on 50 characters. So you can consider that to be quite a big challenge, especially for newer players who will only have two free character slots. So we were fortunate enough to get a 4.6% chance drop rate on these coalescent modes. So all things considered, not too bad. It's entirely free method to obtain those coalescent modes. And if you've been preparing for this in the eventuality, we had plenty of time to save up coalescent modes, or coalescent wards, then you could just be doing this every day on a whole bunch of your characters, even if you only had 20 characters, you would still, this would take you about 100 days, of course, but still, we have more than enough time. Since our last enchantment update in module 16, that's like nearly two years ago now, if not three, we have all that time to save up coalescent wards. Now we can also go, if we want to upgrade our enchantment further, we currently have it on green, and if we use these moats, can see we'll also need these new glyphs of potency. Now I'm going to exclude refinement points as many people will have a lot of this if you've played the game for any amount of time. Same with gold, if you do any bit of crafting, you can generate at least 20 gold per character per day easily. Now we can use here our coalescent moat to get this upgraded with glyphs of potencies. And doing so, we can see we get it to the next rank. And to get a purple, again, we'll need a bunch more of those reagents. And then we can get it to legendary as well. And finally, we'll be able to actually upgrade it to mythic. But these glyphs of potency, we're going to either go to the Wondrous Bazaar to buy them, as I've shown already, but that costs you Astral Diamonds. How do you get these for just doing a bit of questing and obtain them without spending your hard earned Astral Diamonds or even your Zen, which is you can't actually do so. You can go to the Sabella store here and we can check out what she has on to offer and she'll grant us these glyphs of potencies for 10, for just 10 of these medallions, heroes medallions. Now, in order to obtain these heroes medallions, you can see she'll give you quests and these quests, each one will give you five heroes medallions. Now, if you save up these quests, which unfortunately in the past, they have gone and wiped all your progress on these quests, but you can just save a whole bunch of these quests and not actually complete them. You just pick them up. And if we look in our quest journal here, you can see I have a whole bunch of these legacy quests and I could complete each one giving me five of those heroes medallions. And if we wait for an event where we can actually get twice as much medallions per quest, that is a very good time to complete these. Now, again, you can switch to all of your characters and each character can do these legacy quests as long as they're level 20. That's three of those quests per week. And if again, you save those quests for the event where you get double the amount, that means each quest gives you enough currency to buy one cliff of potency. However, if you want to upgrade one of these enchantments, from blue to mythic, it's going to cost you 15 of these glyphs, meaning again, you're going to have to have 15 of these quests to turn in to obtain these glyphs of potencies. But that doesn't mean it's impossible to do that and thus obtain these glyphs of potencies for free. You just have to do a whole bunch of grinding on multiple characters doing those quests obtaining these glyphs of potencies, and we can get enough of them to upgrade our enchantment a bit further. You can also, if you have Astro Diamonds and you're willing to spend them, you can just buy them from the Wondrous Bazaar. Astro Diamonds, a lot of people might have a whole bunch of them and they aren't too fussed then in spending them. 
and we can finally get our enchantment ranked up to mythic and finally enchantments actually give a decent amount of item level and so that's when maxed out you see 1500 compared to just what we would have let's say a rank 14 180 item level or on rank 15 200 and that was absolutely nothing they were giving barely any of your statistics and that's overall what i recommend preparing for for module 22. again that's just invoking and that's just picking up your legacy quests from sabella rt you can go and complete them already to get your currency to buy glyphs of potency save that for when module 22 comes and you'll be able to buy those glyphs otherwise you could save the quests you could wait do the waiting game and you could get double the amount of these medallions whenever you get that times two event for legacy campaigns and it's just around the corner you can see december the 23rd we're going to be able to get double the currency from legacy campaigns so make sure that you're handing in as many of those quests as possible during that time period from there again you can save up those quests again for the next times two event and that means each quest gives you enough to buy a glyph of potency. If you have, again, 50 characters and in just one week you're completing three per character, that's already 150 glyphs. And you only need you only need a maximum of about 165 glyphs to get your full set upgraded to mythic. That's pretty neat. And if you have that many characters and that much time to grind it out, then you can absolutely do this entire thing for free. Same with coalescent wards. Again, this enchantment change isn't the biggest deal, especially if you've been playing this game for any length of time and been invoking and completing legacy quests to basically save up those medallions. There's no cap on, I believe, how many you can have. So again, hopefully this has been somewhat clear and insightful and I've gone through the process clearly enough that you guys can easily go and do this. Again, it's just invoking every day on your characters and it's also just completing those legacy quests. The least you can do is actually pick them up and then complete them during the times two event. So with that said, hopefully this was somewhat helpful to you guys and if it presented as well, consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here, consider subscribing. See you guys around. Goodbye for now.